Howdy, it's Matt and welcome to part three of the series on iNav. Now, in this episode, I've got something which I'd really like to share with you. And that is the Maiden of iNav version 1.7 and the Skywalker Falcon. Now, on this model, I've got the V1 F4 flight control board, which I mentioned in the previous episodes. Uh, and it looks like a ball of wires and to be frankly honest it is a ball of wires but it's really simple to wire up and I'll be covering that with you in a later episode but let me just get this model put down a moment uh, and the reason for this episode is because I want to show you iNav working in real life this was the real maiden of iNav uh, version 1.7 with the Skywalker Falcon using exactly the same parts which I've mentioned previously the uh, F4 V1 flight control board uh, and the Neo MAN GPS sensor on the side as well. Now, I also want to give you a heads up. I made two mistakes in this one. There's two settings which I didn't set. Now, the first one is that when you hit return to home, I'd set the return to home altitude to be 70 meters. Now the thing is, is that the default right now in version 1.7 is that the model will then carry on in whatever direction it's flying in, reach the return to home or return to launch altitude, then turn around and then come back home. Now that is a setting which you can change and I'll show you how to change that setting in a later episode. The other thing to note is also in version 1.7 is that by default, is that when a fixed wing model returns back home is that it will try and land which also I would class as an undesirable and can also be changed by a setting. Now I'd like to give you some good news I have fed my feedback back to the team over at iNav uh, and in a later version which I believe is version 1.8 uh, is that those two settings will be enabled by default for you uh, in version 1.8 and onwards. So you won't run into these challenges. Uh, and again, it was just given a bit of feedback on what other flight controllers have done. So the iNav team are working on putting those two changes in uh, as part of presets uh, for later models. But yeah, absolutely fantastic, worked absolutely fantastically well. One big point for you is that it is a very windy day there. Probably not the best day for doing a maiden on, but probably, the best day to point, make the point to you that iNav works really, really well. Now I've been included some DVR footage, so what you would have been seeing in the goggles, uh, and look for how much the model is not being chucked around by the wind. And you'll hear it on the microphone, it's rather kind of, rather windy there, and it does exactly what I expect and what you would also expect, which is that it helps tame the wind and allows you to FPV uh, in a stabilized mode uh, so that you can enjoy the experience an awful lot more. And also crucially note that the return to home or return to launch feature worked every single time. It just wanted the time when it didn't, or I ran out of my nerve, is because it was trying to climb up to those 70 meters and then it would have turned around and came back home again. So anyway, with that said, let's jump across to the flight line uh, and let's enjoy the maiden of iNav version 1.7 in the Skywalker Falcon with exactly the same kit as I explained in the previous episode. So I'll see you there. Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, we're gonna be testing out iNav version 1.7.0 and on an F4 flight controller board. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn this around, quick overview, and it is a little bit windier, so we're gonna get a bit of wind noise. Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Quick rundown, mini run cam Swift, 2200 battery pack, uh, M8N, Neo, whatever, GPS and magnometer. The magnometer is not hooked up. Uh, video transmitter on the right. I do have the goggles down there, which, uh, by the way, that was a bit quick, sorry. Do have the goggles down there on what I'll hit record on in a moment so you can see the onboard footage. Uh, we've got the on Omnibus uh, F4 uh, V1, I think, flight controller down there. It is Velcroed down and it is level uh, as well. Now, uh, I'm going to turn it into... It's in horizon mode at the moment. So when we go right, the uh, elevon comes up there and that one goes down. When we go left, the reverse happens. I hope that's coming out for you. When we go nose down, the flaps go up. 
and then when we go nose up, uh, they go down. So they appear to be going the right way. So the plan of attack is to launch in pass through mode and make sure it just kind of like flies. That's always a good start with the new setup. Uh, and then we're going to go and try horizon mode. Now it is a little bit iffy uh, because you'll probably see on there, and I'll just quickly check right now. We've got 15 satellites on there, so we should easily get a GPS lock. Uh, the Eagle Tree Vector with the V1 GPS, uh, it would get easily get a GPS lock with only a handful of uh, satellites. Uh, and V2 uses GLONASS. So anyway, we've got 15 satellites, so happy days. I'm going to go and hit record, then we're going to give her a lob, and fingers crossed everything goes well. Right, we're ready for the flight. I've got the... Uh, uh, what should we call it? The um, fat sharks down there recording. Uh, I've put them there out of the sun. Hopefully the video reception's all right. Let's put the sunnies on and let's go for it. Wish it luck. Oh, and you may be wondering where's the lid for this model? Uh, it's over that way somewhere. It blew off when I did a massive dive with it. Uh, live and learn and all that. So I'm now going to arm it. Make sure the tape's stuck down. Right, we are now armed. We got some throttle. Oh, that went well, didn't it? So we need a bit of up trim in that. I might have the battery a little bit far forwards. So give you a heads up, I might have the battery a little bit far forwards on it because uh, I was trying to keep it away. So I'm gonna move that in the back and such and I put a little bit of trim in as well. Yeah, so no harm done. Let me move that back a half inch or so. And uh, let's give it a go again. All right, you ready? Right, we're in the air. It's behaving as one would expect. It is a bit windy here today. Right, so from prior experience, we're gonna get her up high. You can see how much it's getting chucks around now. And I'm trying to get some height on it. Right, there's some height, now we're going. Oh, wow! Horizon mode, Re yeah. Really has taken the edge off it. Really has taken the edge off it for sure. Okay, now we're gonna move acro mode. That's doing great. Heading hold active. That's heading hold. Return to launch. Right, that's return to launch. I don't know where it's going. Off. Right, return to launch. Definitely was not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm going to go out that way this time. Right. Return to launch. Return to launch. Uh, launch site's not that way. It's trying to climb. Maybe it's that. Maybe we need to get a bit more height on. I did set it to 70 meters. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 maybe that's what it is. Maybe it was trying to... We haven't got the climb rate. It is coming back. Might again, that is return to launch. Hands are off. He's up there in the sky. I hope you can see this, all right? Move my cat hanging around. There we go. So it has come back to launch. What's it doing now? That current bun's a bit bright. I don't like what it's doing there. So I've stuck it back in the horizon. I think it was trying to land. So I'm going to get a bit more height on, a bit more height on again, right, let's get into return to home. So we're heading out in the opposite direction, return to launch, return to launch. as far as I dare, Off. that's as far as I dared, he didn't make any intentions to come back home. Right. Heading hold active. Return to launch. That's return to launch now. 
It's not taking any stick input. I'm pretty sure I set this to return to home and not land. Uh, it should be loitering. But look, it's coming round and it's just losing height. But it did come back. We've got to give it that. Right, let's try it out in that direction. Right. Return to launch. What's it doing? Again, I'm going to push it as far as I dare. It's not doing anything. Still not doing anything. It's banked round to the right. It's still banking round to its right, which is coming back towards us. So it is coming home. It is coming home. But when it comes back to... Um, let me do this very quickly. When it is comes back, watch it. It just loses loads of height. Now, I know that was apparently a bit of a bug with 1.7. The main thing is it, it is coming home. So hat back on. Apologies if the... The angle's gone a bit wild, but look, it's just losing loads and loads of height. Aggressively losing, oh. oh. Aggressively losing height. So it's still in horizon mode. Horizon mode looks uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, there we go. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna circle around and get her into land. So the wind is coming from my left right now. Oh, I'm loosening the hedge. There we go. Right, so a quick summary there. What's the summary? Pass-through mode was okay. A bit choppy, if that makes sense. Horizon mode felt fantastic. Acro mode felt all right um we didn't really check test the uh, nav hold and position hold and horizon those three together to see if it holds its head in i'll try that on the goggles in the moment uh and return to home you've got to give it its due i lost my nerve over there because it was a white model into a white cloud uh but the other times it did come home but when it came home it came around the tree and i think it was trying to land it so which is not what i set in the settings i may stand corrected and when i put the published video out uh, i'll let you know if i made that mistake or not but it did look like it was losing loads of height and trying to land itself which is not what i want i want it to come back and then loiter uh, so first impressions the model didn't die for china it's still in one piece like my previous attempts so actually kind of impressed right now it's just what it does when it returns to launch is not ideal so for myself matt cheerios